We started the day by shipping out Mao's link to the pass painting, but the day itself has been kind of dreary and miserable, so we stopped at McAllister's and got some food. And what goes good with miserable weather? Yes, it's soup and sandwich. I had tomato bisque and Mao had some chili, and uh, it was nice. It was nice having a little hot food um, on such a, such a crappy day. By the way, hello everyone, and welcome to Monday. Um, it's winter, which means it's dark. It's dark outside. It's not even late. It just gets dark so quickly. It's really, really awful. Um, we did take care of some other things. We had to get some groceries, which Mao is in the process of uh, loading into the fridge now. Um, the other exciting thing is that if you watched a few days ago, you'll uh, remember that Mao, I would say Mao and myself, but really it was, it was just Mao, made homemade cheese. She made ricotta. Well, that's going to be happening again today. We're making more cheese, except this time it's mozzarella. So I put my half gallon of milk in the pot. And then I mixed three quarters of a teaspoon citric acid to fourth cup distilled water because I didn't have non-chlorinated that I had done. Okay. And then I also took a quarter of a tablet of rennet and put it in another quarter cup. What is rennet? Um, traditionally, it's like sheep intestine or something. But this is a vegetable rennet. Oh, okay. It's a coagulant. Um, so it's... This one would be vegetarian, I guess. Okay. Instead of that. So I did that with each of those, and then I put the milk in, and I need to add the citric acid to the milk. So this is where we were the other night with the ricotta, right? Yeah, but I had to heat it up more. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a little different then. Yeah. So you do that, and then it needs to get to 90. So it's less hot. So the process is a lot different, Similar, actually. but different. So it's at 90 degrees, and I'm going to add the rennet water mix. And it says to stir for 20 seconds. I'm still not sure what this rennet stuff is. It's It was inside of, or it just was sheep intestines? This was a vegetable. It's a coagulant. I know, but, but originally. Oh, it was like... Ground up sheep intestines or something. Um, okay, all right. I just don't know how we figured this stuff out, but okay. So is that the curds and whey separating? Uh-huh. Okay, so it's just like the ricotta, except yep. the ricotta happened when you did the citric acid. Well, it got a lot hotter for the ricotta. So now it needs to sit for five minutes. Neat and gross. So how close is, is that to ricotta? I have no idea. This isn't quite how it's supposed to look. Really? Yeah. What's it supposed to look like? Like tofu? Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna continue and see what happens, so. Still doesn't quite look like it's supposed to. Yeah, it looks like ricotta. Yeah. I mean, there's some bigger chunks. Yeah, that's true. So I guess we'll see. So this is mozzarella? Well, not yet. It's not done yet. Oh, okay. So what else has to be done to this? Well, it's supposed to sit and drain for 10 minutes. Okay. And then I need to heat it back up in the whey and really? kind of shape it, like it melt it and turn it into balls. So I'm supposed to heat this whey to 135. Okay. Oh, is that like 100? So it'll be a minute. But um, on the cheese, I'm supposed to take it out. Oh, for a minute, I thought the cheese cloth was part of the cheese, and I was like, there it goes! That's mozzarella! But that's not quite much. Oh, I mean, that's looking a little better. A little bit. Yeah. It kind of melted. So it says to do this in, like, two parts. To, like, cut it in half. Sure. And then, and then this needs to get heated up. And then you kind of, like, take this and turn it into a ball and then put it in here and heat it to the same temperature and then like keep kneading it and like working it until it's mozzarella. This is quite an operation. Well, it's supposed to help so you don't burn yourself. You really have to wear two pairs of gloves? That's what they said. Okay. So, I'm taking half of this. Sure. I mean, it's a bit more firm than the ricotta is. Well, that's a good sign. It says form into a ball. Yeah. Or don't. <laughs> 
Is it? Uh, like a floppy biscuit. And then really. it's just to like lower it into the water. And let it kind of heat up. Okay. Turn that down a little bit. And then once it gets to the right temperature, then I can kind of like pull it out and like move it around. See how it's starting to melt a little bit? Oh. And turn into cheese? It, it actually is looking a lot more like mozzarella. Mm -hmm. So I'd say that you you did it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not quite there yet, but and it's getting there. And then I can like put it back in the water to heat up a little bit more. Yeah. That's certainly more bollular. Bollular. Spherical, that's the oh, word. Oh yeah, this is starting that's to turn into mozzarella. Look at that. Oh, that's mozzarella. It's getting there. All right, so this next step you said. I need said, two of those. All right, so here's one. Sprinkle, oh, don't. Sprinkle. You ready for this? Sprinkle, not just dump. Sprinkle. <laughs> Uh, close enough. Go. Non-dominant hand. And what does the cheese salt actually do? Makes it taste better. So while Mal gets ready to do the second half, um, okay. she took the first one and threw it in ice water. And that was just so it'll stay in a ball? Yeah. It says... Is that the idea behind that? ice water to maintain shape. Uh... Okay. Now you've done it again. I mean, I, I hope it's all right. I mean, you followed the kit and directions, but you did it regardless. First ricotta, now mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And I know everyone at home is is probably curious how it tastes. How it tastes, and I'm here to let you know that we're actually not going to try it tonight. <laughs> the reason is uh, the reason is we actually wanted to uh, put this on a pizza. We're gonna make a uh, margarita pizza tomorrow, and. Um, we're gonna try it then uh, on the pizza, so that's gonna be how we enjoy this. But it looks good, it, like it looks they like look it came right. out. They look right. Yeah, it looks correct. It was a little concerning for Mal at the beginning when it was looking a little more like ricotta, but then it, it seems to have um, straightened out. So uh, yeah, if you're if you're invested in this story, be sure to join us tomorrow when we actually eat the stuff as uh, as part of a pizza. You unfortunately won't get any, sweetheart. I'm sorry. No matter how much you complain. No cheese for Kitty. So sad. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?